What was the most embarrassing thing your parents have ever done? I believe I was in third grade when this happened. I had two of best friends to my house for a sleepover and we were doing something in the living room when it was time for dinner. My dad thought it would be funny to take me to the dining room by picking me up by my feet and carrying me upside down. The only problem was that I was wearing sweatpants and when he lifted me he was grabbing more pant than ankle. I was in the air for a few seconds before I fell out of my pants onto the floor bottomless and dazed. Out of the sweats and boxes and all. I immediately ran away. Porky pig style to cry in private. My dad came and tried to apologize but couldn't stop laughing. At the time it was the most embarrassed I'd ever been. In retrospect. Hilarious. Porky pig style. When I was in 5th grade, I got hit by a car. I was relatively fine, but my friend called my parents and my dad was in such a rush that he showed up to the scene in just his underwear. Very embarrassing but I appreciate his urgency. Not my parents, but at my brother's baseball games my grandpa will sit in the bleachers and insult the other kids out loud, oftentimes to the parents of those children themselves. Examples include is such a frickin jerk or he'd be a good first baseman if he didn't suck tea. I think sucking tea is second base. My dad is a bit of a control freak, especially so about his lawn and garden. My father didn't make me mow the lawn, I was not allowed to. To be totally honest, by and large he didn't like the idea of teaching me how to do any man stuff. He'd prefer to just do it and be done with it. I am a super advanced flashlight holder and be a fetcher. Though, one summer he had reconstructive shoulder surgery. Dad, come on. You can't be pushing the mower around with your arm in a sling. It isn't rocket science. I am happy to do it for you. He hemmed and hawed for a while but finally conceded I would probably have to do it. He gave me the, the super complicated instructions of pull cord, push around and straight line, before doing the most embarrassing thing he's ever done to me. He walked with me, his good hand on the mower, for the entire duration of mowing his front and back lawn. I was like 26 at the time. 26. I was married and living on my own at the time. Also I am a dude. When I was in 7th grade, my dad was driving my friends and I to the mall. One of them spent the whole ride talking about some guy and how he definitely liked her because he ignored her all the time. As we pull up to the mall, my dad turns around to give me cash and then looks right at my friend and says that boy definitely doesn't like you. I'm not even sure why my daughter does. My dad has roasted a few of my friends throughout the years. In hindsight, he was always right about them. When I was in high school I had a girl over once. When we left my room my mom gave me a parenting for dummies book and told me to be careful right in front of the girl. That is absolutely fantastic. My mom doesn't realize how loud she is and comments on the appearance of strangers whenever I go out with her. Look at that crazy bastard. Why the frick does she think she can get away with wearing that? It's like, mom, we are in the middle of Walmart. Please behave. Place checks out. My mother liked drugs. She was high functioning during the day at the time of this story but in the evening she partied. I begged her not to go to my high school freshman year winter concert, choir, and I had a solo. Second row there she was, positioned right in front of me with the lights from the stage illuminating her face, as she nodded out, and began to snore. I want to crawl inside of myself. As a child of a drug addict mother, I feel you. I loved ballet recitals, but I could never stop glancing at the empty seat in front while I performed. In junior, I I won second place in school science fair and the awards presentation was after school. There was an hour period before the ceremony where the parents and other students could walk around and see what the other students had done. Walking up to the gym, my mom hits her head on a window air conditioning unit and splits her head open. She ghetto mac jivers a bandaid using floss and a huge cotox tampon thing. She wore that bloody eyes all the entire time we were there. I can see her intentions were good and she was being supportive but dang. That was some traumatizing crap. I laughed really hard at this one. I upvoted and moved on. Yet, every time I got a little chuckle from another post I thought of a woman walking around with a giant floss strapped bloody pad on her head and I can't get over it. Freaking hilarious. My mom showed up to my school while I was in class to scold me for forgetting to take me ADHD medication. 
like full on screaming while I sat silently in horror while my classmates laughed. She interrupted an entire class to do this. You should have smirked and said take a chill pill. I was still living at my parents. I was in the bathroom, bleaching my upper lip hair. The phone rings. Dad answers. Anna Karenine can't come to the phone right now. She's bleaching her mustache. Can she call you back? I thought this was only something that happens in movies. My first year of college was 2006. Back when dorm phones were still a thing. I had a phone line in my dorm. And my mom had also bought me a track phone. I wasn't used to carrying a cell phone yet so one day in my first semester I packed my things and went off to class, leaving my cell phone on my desk. I had a 8am chemistry class followed by a 3 hour programming lab followed by a fast lunch and a 4 hour chemistry lab. My mom knew all this, too, because she had my schedule. So at 9, I'm in the computer lab and she calls my dorm phone and I don't pick up, so she calls my cell phone. At 9.30, she calls my cell phone again. By 10, I have 18 missed calls on my cell phone. Around 11 my mom calls the school and reports me missing. At 12 I am eating lunch, and campus security, failing to find me where my schedule said I would be, in the computer lab, they must have just missed me, is bashing down my dorm door and my roommate tells them she doesn't know where I am. At 12.30 I am heading to my chem lab and she's in the car, driving the 1.5 hours to my school. By 2 p.m. I have a mix of green algae and water in a centrifuge and she is accosting random students and showing them my picture on my 2000 person campus. My roommate is in hysterics and missed her afternoon classes because my mom told her I must have killed myself. Not once does she think to check in my freshman lab. Where at 5pm I tear the carbon copy sheets out of my lab notebook and hand them into my proctor, having shown that I understand basic titration methods. At 5.30 I head to my dorm to get my roommate for dinner and run into a giant search party that is looking for me, all because I accidentally left my cell phone behind for around 9 hours. It sounds like everyone learned something that day. I was a teenager and my family was on a holiday in Thailand. We were eating at a restaurant, when an older white gentleman came in with a young Thai man and sat relatively close to us. My parents started joking, in German, about how this man obviously came to Thailand to find himself a nice young boyfriend, stuff along those lines. I was mortally embarrassed about it. After they had their meal, the older gentleman, classy as frick, tipped his hat to my parents and in perfect German wished us a nice day. Not really a specific time. But when my friends come over, or any time really, my dad sits on the couch in his underwear while typing on his MacBook and quoting Monty Python. After a while of this, he will pick up his over 80 year old saxophone and proceed to blast everyone's eardrums with his improv jazz. Embarrassed me as a kid, but now I have the most chill dad out of my friends. This is the dad I strive to be. My mother and I were staying at a hotel when I was around 15. And she took one of her epic dumps and clogged the toilet, so she had to call the front desk and have them send a maintenance guy. Guy walks in, he's around 25, beautiful of course, and my mother jokingly says to him so now you have to guess which one of us has the huge colon. My mother took a giant poo at a some rest stop in NJ, clogged the toilet and it was overflowing. My sister and I were trying to enjoy some McDonald's when she comes rushing over loudly saying how we need to leave now because she clogged in toilet. When I was in high school my mom was a functioning alcoholic. So one night I had some friends over and my mom was tanked. She started talking about how she played softball in high school and how you really had to get into a deep squat to be a good catcher. So she started squatting in our kitchen, split her pants, then fell over. Then like 2 hours later she decided she needed to raid the crap out of some bees. So she did that and got stung a bunch. My friends didn't come over much after that. I'm so sorry but I can't stop laughing. I hope she got help. Was with my dad at the mall. And you know the people who approach you to answer the surveys? Well this lady picked the wrong person aka my dad. Sir, do you have time to answer some questions? Screams at the top of his lungs. Puts up his hood and screams new o u n o o o o while running away, leaving me there like. Doing this. My parents, who were quite conservative, took 12 year old me to see a production of Hair. 
My mother elbowed me in the ribs and stated this is the nude scene. And then she got up and took off her clothes. At my 14th birthday party my mom was lying on the couch while my friends and I all ate pizza in the dining room. My back was to the living room so I was the only person who couldn't see my mom. Suddenly my friends all started to giggle. I turned around to see my father slowly crawling on top of my mother to make out with her. That's cute. Finally my favorite family story. I don't even care if this gets buried. So my dad hates grocery shopping. Really hates it. And my mom used to force all four of us. My sister, my dad, her and I. To go together. So my dad would always try to find some way of entertaining himself and two small children at the store. Another thing you should know that becomes important later is that my dad has been shaving his head bald for the last 20 years or so, and was freshly shaved for this story. One day we go to Target, and we are roaming up and down the aisles, and my mom splits off to go pick something up and left us, telling us all to stay put. We were in the bathroom supplies aisle, my dad looks over and sees a line of plungers. When he tells this story he says I just thought, I wonder if it will fit, why the frick not, so he picks up one and puts it right on top of his head. Well what we didn't realize is that when you put what is essentially a rubber ring on a shiny, slightly most bald head, it forms a perfect seal. My dad thought it would be a brief moment of plunger head, and moments later when he tried to pull it off he discovered he had made a serious commitment to the plunger head way of life. He can't get it off. He pulls and pulls and we all start laughing so hard we can't help him. Finally my sister grabs the handle, puts her foot on my dad's chest, and yanks as hard as she can. The plunger comes off with a pop that echoes through the target aisles. My sister goes flying backwards into a shelf. My dad grabs his skull, and my mother appears back in the aisle. She looks around, sees my sister sitting on the floor holding the plunger, me laughing so hard I am almost pee myself, and my dad holding his scalp where a purple ring of bruise the exact size of the plunger is now forming. We never went to that target again. We were in a hotel. My parents room was next to mine. After midnight, I heard a big bam coming from their room. I woke up and went to their room like WTF happened it and they just broke their bed while freaking. I was like well good night. Ugh. My parents have done this as well. My dad has never looked so pleased with himself as he did when he told me. It was their own bed though. My mom complains about food to the staff in restaurants. The last time we ate she ordered fish and chips. Told the waiter it looks like it's from McDonald's. It makes me cringe inside forever. Yo my mom a while back pulled into a McDonald's to get an iced coffee. She doesn't even like iced coffee. And proceeded to argue with the guy for like 3 minutes over how they make it. And how it is always awful. I felt really bad for the guy when he just calmly said we'll make it however you want it. Mom. This isn't one particular instance. But my mom made sure that puberty was a very embarrassing experience for me. Despite my username I'm actually a guy. By the way. Before entering middle school I had to take a physical. The doctor looked in my pants and for some reason felt the need to tell my mother the state of my pubic hair. If having a complete stranger look at my genitals wasn't humiliating enough. The second we got home my mom phoned everyone in the family to announce to them that I was growing pubes. Every time my voice cracked she would laugh and tease me about it in front of people. One time we had some people over for dinner. During the meal my mom abruptly changed the subject and said across the table hey, gangren house boobs, nice hair under your arms. I didn't even have hair under my arms yet at this point. Even if I did, I was wearing a long sleeved shirt when this happened. She was just trying to embarrass me for some reason. If I ever talked about girls from school in any context whatsoever my mom would always respond with maybe she is on her period. In hindsight this isn't a big deal but she has a way about her that I knew she was just trying to make me uncomfortable by talking about periods. She also made frequent references to my genitals. If I complained of any ailment whatsoever she would tell me to go to my dad about it because we had the same equipment down there in her words. It could be a toothache and she'd still find a way to make a reference to my balls. 
At the time I also had longer hair than most boys and was often teased for looking like a girl. She would tell me to whip it out in front of them and ask them if that looked like it belonged to a girl. If my nipples were visible in any way she was always the first to point it out in front of people. I know this all doesn't seem like anything big and I was probably just oversensitive but her constantly pointing out aspects of my body to people was humiliating at the time. It always made me feel violated and shamed. When going to fast food with my dad as a kid he would leave all his trash and leftovers on the table like as if McDonald's had bus boys and walk out the freaking door. As a child I was super embarrassed and a couple times I've tried to clean it up but when you're 6 and your dad is already in the parking lot you just have to leave. I don't know where you from but it's common to leave the tray in my country. I used to go the gym with my dad. The last time I went with him some lad who was gorgeous came over to me. Before he managed to get a word out my dad shouted hey, stop flirting with my son. I'm a girl, yep. My dad used to freestyle whenever I had friends over. We are 100% white and I grew up, mostly, in the country. The one that I always remember happening was about diarrhea. Looking back though my dad was spit in hit fire in the 90s. He needs to drop a mixtape. If it was a rap about diarrhea then he was spitting hot fire orally and anally. A few years ago taking a tour of the Hoover Dam. A bunch of folks crowding into the elevator. My father-in-law pops up with so is this where they gas us? Nearly everyone looked at us with shock. I'm always humiliated when my mom yells at retail workers. Or waiters. She seems to have no concept of when a problem is actually someone's fault or not. Like... The lady behind the cash register has no control over the irregular sizing of the old navy jeans. Oh man, this used to embarrass the crap out of me growing up. Now if my mom tries to pull that crap I'll call her out on it in front of god and everybody. Then I apologize for her to the waiter cashier innocent bystanders right in front of her. I don't give a frick if I'm making a scene. And it's been pretty effective at getting her to quit being such a C to people in the service industry. When we go to bars my dad would take our orders then head over to the bar. There he will fan out his cash and wave it over his head while yelling hey, yo to grab the bartender's attention. That's hilarious. My dad has always referred to any girlfriend I've had as little friend because he knows it annoys me. It's basically when you're young and it's your first girlfriend and your parents think it's cute or whatever. He'll invite me something and say are you gonna ask your little friend to go? Dad, I'm 27 years old. Please stop. I can't take it anymore. My mom always referred to my boyfriends as my special friends. She was a special ed teacher so people always made that connection. Like I was a nice kid, befriending those poor boys. It took her until my marriage to say that I had a husband. My dad, not a skinny man at the time, while wearing alarmingly short gym shorts on underwear, decided to lecture teenage, girl, me and my best, girl, friend about leaving town for an entire day without prior permission, as he was going off on his spiel about how irresponsible we both were and could have been lying dead in a ditch somewhere, he puts his foot up on my cedar chest, his balls fell out of his shorts, my friend pointed and went into a fit of laughing hysteria, he harumphed shoved his sack back into his shorts and exited the room, red faced and mumbling about us dang kids. Your friend is cool, if I'd have been her I probably would have started crying. My mom was on the phone with her doctor because she had thrush or something in her mouth. The doc said it's probably a yeast infection. She immediately says oh how strange, I usually get them on the other end. What the frick, mom. That's not embarrassing that's freaking hilarious. My mom asked for Italian dressing for her salad. In Rome, Italy, the guy just looked at her then handed her a bottle of balsamic and a bottle of her. Both forgot to pick me up from school. It wouldn't be so bad but it was a boarding school and they ended up being about a day late. E. This is not an archer joke. My mom is the embarrassing one, although dear old dad has his moments. When I was in 4th grade, mom took me to get my very first training bra. Important detail, she hates shopping, so we pick out the basic bra, and I grab it and start looking for the changing room. She stops me and says oh no, we don't have time for that, you can just try it on here. She then proceeds to put this training bra on me, in the middle of the department store, over my shirt, 
Then of course she's got to make sure it fits, by which I mean feel me up, tl, dr. I got felt up by my mother in a store while wearing a training bra over my clothes. Not a training bra, but my dad started berating me because I refused to drop my pants in the middle of the store to try on a pair of pants. Literally furious I wouldn't get mostly naked in the middle of an old navy. My parents would hold a Christmas cocktail party every year. One year, my parents hired my sister and my sister's best friend, let's call her Patty since that was her name, to act as circulating cocktail waitresses, bringing drinks and finger foods to all the guests. They probably had 20 or 25 guests. Dad got hammered. Woohoo. Boy howdy drunk. Literally, like in the movies, lampshade on the head drunk. Mom angrily sends dad upstairs for a while. The master bedroom was directly over the living room. All of a sudden, the guests start hearing these noises from right above their heads. In her annoyance, my mother sends 15 yo Patty, my sister's best friend, upstairs to check. And she proceeds to find my father, naked as the day he was born, jumping on the bed like a hyperactive for yo, his manhood flapping in the breeze. Mr. Rambo, are you okay Patty asks, shocked to her core. I'm alright dad exclaims, and then goes all Reagan from the exorcist on her, just projectile vomiting everywhere. Covered the bed, two walls, a full length mirror, an oscillating lawn sprinkler of puke. Patty didn't get married until her early 40s. I am convinced this incident had an impact on that situation. My mother and father had a passionate, tempestuous relationship. But in the 24 years they were married, I don't think I ever saw her as angry as I saw her that night and, for like the next two months, it took some other husband in her junior league circle of friends to get caught banging a babysitter or something for my mother to get over it. It was just, everywhere. After my dad died in 1999, my mom went a little nutty. She would give me permission to go out with friends or to a sleepover and then report me as a missing person to the police. Do you know what it's like to be at a sleepover and have the cops come down the driveway for you? My friend's dad was P. And then I get home and she like oh, I'm so glad you're alive. The police got sick of her and I got a cell phone. My parents thought that they understood the new lingo a few years back. I was with my family at an outdoor world shop, huge Bass Pro shop, and, as per usual, I got lost. Now them wanting to be hip parents decided to pull a epic prank on me and asked if they could call me up on the intercom. Somehow they gained access to the microphone and said as loudly as they could, would definitely not a demon please come to the front so that they can get wound by his, no joke, epic and radical parents. They said that in a way that made me cringe so hard that I actually became nauseous. Like a sudden Texas rain, what seemed like the whole store split their sides with laughter and the air was flooded with hoots and hollers of all sorts. Lucky for me, I was on the other side of the store and had to make my walk of shame to the front to meet my, now dead to me, parents crying because they were laughing so hard. I sprinted out of there to the car as fast as I could and refused to talk until we got home. Epic and radical. Slang Delta. 20 years. On the night when Obama made the press statement that Osama bin Laden was killed my father made me get in his car and hold an American flag out the window and he drove around our town and into downtown Chicago. Can I meet your dad? Tell him skin chips from Reddit is willing to take your job off his child. When I was in the 6th grade, I didn't turn in a week's worth of homework. So, my teacher calls my mom and completely over exaggerates the situation saying something like, this could potentially be the beginning of him failing his entire school year. My mom, being the over emotional person she is, comes to my school mid, class crying saying over and over, where did I go wrong? I didn't raise you like this and proceeds to sit in my class for the next few days while I done the homework I missed, and the homework for that week. I walk the halls with my head down for the next month. Maybe that's why your parents abandoned you on Jakku. My dad pushed me off my scooter in the middle of the high street and rode off on it. He also put rap music on his car and sang along with the windows open through the town. He's got more game than you lad. Oh god. I didn't even have to think about this. I was playing a bar gig and invited some family friends including my mother. My mistake, after my set, 
She starts walking up to the stage and everything goes in slow motion. She steps up and takes the mic from me and says, This is my son everyone. Not only does he play music, but he is also studying to be a physicist. In front of the entire bar. Ugh. So proud. When I was in 5th grade, I had my first co-ed birthday party. A big deal. Huge deal. Because my crush was there. The party was at my house. My parents wanted to get a bouncy house and I had to remind them that I'm a grown up and I don't play like that anymore. How foolish I was. Bouncy houses are amazing. Seriously. They are appropriate for any age. Who doesn't like bouncy houses? What an idiot I was in 5th grade. 8th grade me wouldn't have been so foolish. Anyway, guys, stop talking about the bouncy house. This isn't about that. So we had set up speakers so we could play music outside. Had fancy punch and all sorts of food laid out on a table. Weather was good. Nary a cloud in the sky. Then my parents get on the microphone to gather all the kids and to get everyone to sing me happy birthday so we could eat cake. So they call me up on stage. Not really a stage. Just where the audio equipment was set up. Me being the showboat that I am. I make a big deal of it, strutting my way up there. And then my dad says, and why don't we get his girlfriend Julie up here, too and he just starts laughing into the mic. I yell, dad and run up to him and knock the mic out of his hand which just makes him laugh harder. My mother is no help, she just stands there laughing, too. I whip around to see everyone else laughing and Julie surrounded by her friends laughing too. I didn't know how to save face, so I just stood there frozen. And then my dad leads the crowd in a very raucous rendition of happy birthday. And then me and Julie went steady for like a week. So all in all, I guess it wasn't that bad. Until she broke up with me with a note in class. Sigh. It was for the best. Bouncy houses are amazing. Seriously. They are appropriate for any age. Who doesn't like bouncy houses? Former friend of mine had a bouncy house at her 21st birthday party. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.